the Chicago Tribune here on day one of the Pitchfork Music Festival in Union Park on a gray, cloudy day. Uh, the festival began. Uh, it initiated in 2005. It's now back again this year. Uh, 49,000 people expected to attend. It was nearly sold out today with about 13,000 people in attendance. Uh, today was a uh, basically a greatest hits night for four veteran bands. The set lists were chosen by the fans ahead of time in voting and the bands basically played the set list that the fans most wanted to hear. First up opening the festival, veteran Chicago band Tortoise associated with that post-rock movement in the 90s, still going strong, uh, played a lot of their best known songs, some songs that they haven't played in many years, sounded really good, Jeff Parker on guitar, I think he's a monster, I think uh, his addition to the band, uh, a relative latecomer to the band, uh, has added immensely to the sound and he's become a really key part of that band now. Up next, Yola Tango uh, with uh, Ira Kaplan, Georgia Hubley, and James McNew. This band has been around since the 80s. I think they are one of the cornerstones of independent music. They grew it again tonight, uh, again playing a set heavily uh, indebted to what the fans wanted to hear, but they did veer from the script for one song, introducing a new song uh, from their forthcoming album, in which Ira Kaplan revealed that he does not read Proust, so we can all feel, so, feel sorry for Ira. Um, but let, let's face it, everybody was here to see one band and one band alone, and that was the Jesus Blizzard. A uh, great, phenomenal Chicago band from the 90s, broke up in 1999. They're back. Look at the right-hand corner of your screen. This is how David Yao made his entrance tonight. Yep, that was a guided missile into the audience. Yao spent about half the show singing on his back in the audience, his boot heels up in the air. Uh, a man possessed, a wild animal unleashed. That's essentially what David Yao is on stage. That's how we remember him from the 90s. That's how he came back in 2009 at the Pitchfork Festival. Uh, really great to see the original lineup back together again for the first time in more than a decade. Uh, Dennison, Dwayne Dennison on guitar and David William Sims on bass. Uh, they are the cornerstones of this band in terms of those riffs that uh, got Yao uh, energized. But Mac McNeely on the drums, I, I think, is really the, the guy who makes it all go. One of the hardest hitting drummers ever, and with a sense of swing combined with it. So the move had a real rhythmic pulse to it, uh, unlike any other band. Um, at the end of the show, I, saw, I was at the side of the stage and I saw McNeely coming off stage. He was like a limp dish rag. He had given everything he had. Um, he could barely walk from behind that drum kit because he had given everything he had on that stage. And Yao was the same way, a man possessed, a man who gave everything he had. You're hearing a little bit of Built to Spill as they finish up tonight's uh, first night of the Pitchfork Music Festival. We're going to be back for more tomorrow.